welcome to the wells and um, we're back here with a question that was um in the comments that from one of our videos that people were talking about so we would like to also talk to you about how do you feel about having a friend of the opposite sex when you're in a committed relationship well i definitely think that um mature adults should be able to have friendships that are strictly platonic, that does not compromise their relationships um, with the opposite sex. I believe that if you had a friendship with someone previous to the relationship, especially if it's platonic, then there has to be a certain level of trust and maturity when dating. If you can't handle that, you you know, for me personally, my friends are my friends. I had friends of the opposite sex, and I'm going to kind of be friends with them until or unless something happens between the two of us. So if we stay friends, we're going to be friends. So, yeah, I feel like it depends on the relationship, though. If you know that you can't handle it or your partner, y'all can't get along with having, um, you know, friends of the opposite sex, you might want to reevaluate who you're dating. Um, also, if you know that you have someone in your life that happens to be out opposite sex, and you value this person, but now you're dating someone who does not um, support you having this friendship, it, you have to make that decision of how important having that friend around is to you. Could you have a friend that could come in front of your, your romantic relationship? I think that everything is balanced. Everybody has to know their place. You cannot have a relationship and a friendship without balance because somebody's going to feel like someone's going to feel like they're not getting enough um so it's really important that your friendship stays in the friendship zone and your relationship stays in the relationship zone but you can't um say okay well my friendship takes precedence over my relationship or my relationship takes uh, precedence over my friendship i think it's a balance that you have to make sure that you keep in order for you to be happy because I know that there are people in my life that I value that happen to be of the opposite sex and if they're not in my life I, I, I'm not happy about it so I value them enough to be in my life I believe that people make deposits in your life and those are the people that I feel made enough deposits in my life that now they have the interest which is me so now but in a new relationship how does that work out if the new person struggles with that? well I, I can't for me, I'm very upfront. I'm very honest. I have friendships with people that I was in relationships with. Um, some people can't handle it. Some people can handle it. And coming into something that's already established, like I'm a person where I can't tell you as a grown man who you can be friends with. Okay. I would hope that you would have a respect level for me that if it was something that would be disrespectful to the relationship, you would modify it. But I can't tell you, oh, you can't be friends with this person because then you're going to open up the door for deception. You're going to open up the door for lies. And I just feel like if a person going to cheat, it could be a coworker, it could be a friend, it could be an old sister, you know, it, it could be anybody, whoever you, if, you're, if that's your character, you're going to do it. It doesn't matter if this person was an ex or anything, but it has to be a balance. Like you have to know and boundaries. You have to respect boundaries. Okay, so <clears throat> that was a very interesting take on it. Um, yeah, any last words on this um, as far as what you, maybe some advice you would give someone, other, someone else? I would say, um, I think one of the most important things is understanding yourself and the things that you need from the people that are in your life. And if you understand that these are the people who are important to you and that you value them, don't lose a friend over a relationship that's just new, that's just coming in. Because these people have laid the groundwork and you have built that trust, you built, you know, that level with them. So you gotta be careful losing friendships for relationships. Absolutely, that is absolutely a great point. Um, keep the ones you know. Once you're getting to know, let them know they're on, they on waivers. <laughs> you might not make it. <laughs> hey, thank you for coming out. Thank you for joining us again for another segment. Um, we really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me.